Hi, and welcome to Max 8 tutorial number 22B. Again, this is 4-Track Looper Part 2, an addendum. Um, there was a little problem with the looper that I discovered three tutorials later, but I never like to leave people hanging, so I'm coming back to it. Okay, so what happens is that this thing's great, and it had been recording my loops, but then I was doing something else. I was grading things and saving them to a different folder. And then suddenly it stopped working. I couldn't figure it out. Why? Why does it stop working? One, two, six, seven, eight, three, and uh, stop. And then I play it, and it... Oh, it is playing the right thing now. Well, never mind that. Um, I got it working again just now. But the thing is that if you're following this, um, if you're following these tutorials and suddenly your looper won't record anymore, this is what you have to do. Um, we created a little monster inside of here. I'm just going to take it out of presentation mode. And up here in this brilliant little patcher that we're calling JL1, or you might call your initials number one. Um, we have the SF record object opening a JL1 file and the buffer replacing a JL1.wav file. The problem is if you save something in a different folder, um, the default saving location changes for some of these but not for others. So what I have is that buff buffer Johnny loop keeps opening the same file over and over, but SF record um, has created a file somewhere else, and it just keeps recreating a file somewhere else, but buffer Johnny loop never plays it. So I have a way of fixing it, and what the heck, we should learn about new objects all the time, right? So, uh, and fortunately, look, we, um, if you were doing this, you probably accidentally left another inlet here, so, um, That'll be handy, right? So what we're going to use, uh, let's move this over here. We'll call this the, uh, the text section of the, of the uh, patcher. We're going to um, try out a new object here that uh, we haven't tried before called, uh, what is it called? It's called save dialog. And the save dialog uh, brings up a dialog that allows you to save things. Now I'm going to put a bang over it so that I can use it here. And we'll just connect that to there. And let's put a message here and we'll find out what it does very quickly. So. All right. So lock your patcher, hit the button, and a save dialog comes up. And in my case, because I've been keeping my audio files in the teaching patcher section, and there's JL1. You'll also notice I have JL2 and JL3, and JL4, which I did record somewhere, isn't here. So that's probably the one that wasn't working. I just couldn't figure it out. So in this case, we're doing JL1. So I'm just going to click on this, because then I know that it'll just repeat that up there. So that's what I want this one to do all the time. So I'm just going to say save. It says JL1 already exists. Do you want to replace it? Don't worry. JL1 was a throwaway file before, and it still is. So just replace it. Of course, don't do that with any files that you really care about. Okay, so what happened in here is that now we got a message from the save dialog that essentially I'm just trying to make it more readable here that gives us the file path all the way to JL1.wave. So if we could somehow say to buffer Johnny loop, hey, go get this file precisely. And if we could say to SF record, hey, go open a file named this precisely, we wouldn't have it accidentally saving things in the wrong files. And if we could use this to tell both of them that, then um, wouldn't that be handy? They would both go to the same place. And of course, 
as it turns out, we can do that. Instead of putting this in this message here, what we'll do is we'll make a prepend, uh, type letter N, type prepend. Oops, I have the caps lock on there. Come on, there you go. Prepend, open. And then we'll make another one. You've probably already guessed, but go ahead, type N, prepend, replace. And now, when all of this comes through here, um, it will be giving us just this longhand version of JL1 Wave. Save it here, and we're going to prepend, replace. So let's connect this to prepend replace. So it'll put replace on the front of this and it'll look a lot like this one. And you know what? We can just use that message box. Bonk. And then for this one, we run it over to the, um, to the prepend open. And I guess we'll just put this one over here since we were kind of balancing them out before. Get that out of the way. Put this here. Connect this to, remember, the right hand inlet because we don't want it to actually do this until these things bang on them. So now we'll see if we go back again and hit this button, we can come down here, we'll hit uh, JL1 again, and we'll hit save. By the way, when I do get over to uh, patcher JL4, I can just type in here JL4, but I'm not going to do that right now because I want this thing to always do this. So yes, replace it. Sure, sure, sure. And now you see I have these very verbose messages telling it to um, open this file and replace this file. But now, and I, this one's an extra, I don't need it anymore. Right, so. Um, so that's what we've got now. These big uh, messages here. And uh, sorry, I'm always trying to neaten, neaten things up that probably don't need any neatening, but um, I can't help myself. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, for goodness sake. I'm just deliberately wasting your time. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to be neat. There we go. Okay. So now we can see them. So now all we have to do is um, have a button for each one of these that tells it where we want it to save its files and we can name them too. So that is going to be our plan. So I'm going to put, um, well actually tell you, I'm just going to uh, copy these and stick them all in the other folders. So we'll need uh, these here. And um, these come with each patcher, but we also need the prepend open. So I'm just going to shift and click on that and say command copy. Very good. And now I'm just going to lock this one and close it. Open number two. Unlock it. And command V, paste. Come on. Oh, sorry, I locked it. Command V, paste. There we go. <clears throat> we'll have to move open a little bit, but uh, I've had worse. There we go. Okay, so that this is all working out very well. Connect to that to the right-hand inlet. Connect this to the right-hand inlet of that. Replace, replace. Very good, very good. Uh, just locking it, closing it, opening number three. Um, it's already unlocked. Command B. Move open up above here. That down to the right inlet. Connect this one over to the right inlet there. Replace, replace, everything looking good. Lock it, close it. And finally, number four, probably the big troublemaker here. Unlock it. I'm going to paste all the parts in there. Move this up here, connect the outlet to the right-hand inlet of the message, connect this to the 
right hand inlet and I believe we can close that one and now I suppose what we need is some way uh, to say choose file that's what we'll do so we'll just uh, unlock this we'll type a little message that says choose file let's put on our caps locks and do it now that looks so big and dumb here we'll I'm gonna move this over here so we can see it and look at it in the inspector we're gonna make this thing teensy tiny with a with a nice uh, eight point font there and um, yeah that, that looks a whole lot better and uh, we're gonna include it in the presentation and what else are we gonna do um, it already matches good enough I'll, I'll leave the custom design up to you all so there's that we bring this uh, over here to JL1 and we connect it to the third inlet and we do the same for each of these now there's probably a way that we could have done this by um, by uh, choosing a folder but then we can't we don't get the opportunity to create a file as we do when we do it this way so I'm gonna this way might be the slightly longer way but it's the safer way and since I already messed up once you know can only take so much of that you know now I'm gonna do a funny thing I'm, I'm selecting all these and I'm taking them out of presentation and then I'm gonna put them back in presentation um, only because otherwise they would have all been on top of each other in presentation okay so there we go there's our fix and I'm now going to actually put it in presentation I'm going to click here and put it in presentation there it is there's the choose file thingamajigs uh, we're unlocked so we can move them around as we wish and we can just put these down here they're they're probably something we're not going to use a whole lot but we are going to use them today and there we go you know sometimes you just have to do the dumb things that need to be done there we go so locking our patcher now we I believe already chose this one but I'm going to choose number two teaching patchers scroll down JL2 good save yeah replace yeah very good three that's going to be JL3 and then do we replace it yes we replace it and finally we get to do JL4 which is going to be a little tiny bit different because um, we don't have a JL4 in there so I'm just going to type JL4 dot W a V in teaching patchers and save it and now hopefully we'll have um, all of them separate so just to test this um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start recording on uh, one and here we go one 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 and then we'll uh, try two. Two. Uh, two, 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 two. And now we'll try three. I know this is the most insane thing, way to test it, but how else am I going to do it? Three, 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 three. On Sesame Street, there used to be a guy who would uh, announce numbers and then fall down the steps. I kind of feel like him right now. Okay, here we go. Four, finally. Four. 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 Is this what we do with a looper? So here we go. Uh, checking it out here. Oops.
a little quiet for you. We got a two in there. I'm gonna turn the other ones down. There it is, yeah. Sure enough. Well, that's the fix, people, and uh, we've done it. So, whoops. <laughs> I always forget. Zero just, zero just, oh dear. That zero just makes them go even harder. So, that's it um, for today. Sorry to mislead you, uh, if, if that's what it would be called. I just hadn't thought all the way through that project. So, there it is, the fix. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.